Last year was the worst year of my life, but last year was also the best year of my life. It started when I got a phone call from one of my doctors. Lindsay, unfortunately, we found evidence of metastatic cancer on your spine. I could hear her sadness and my head began to spin because I knew what this meant. Stage four breast cancer is incurable. Now, any one of us could get hit by a bus tomorrow. That's the saying. It helps us remember that no one really knows what tomorrow brings, but how many of us are truly living that way? When we're walking safe on the sidewalk, you're not really living every day like it could be your last, but how would you change your life if you were suddenly pushed onto the road? Last year, I was pushed onto the road and I can see my bus coming. And all I can do right now is run for my life. Now, that's pretty bad, but it could always be worse. Now, it doesn't exactly help when I get that advice from other people, but when I can get there on my own, all I have to do is think about everything that makes me really grateful, and it gives me the strength to keep running. For example, I'm grateful that it's me on the road and that my two children get to be safe on the sidewalk. They're seeing me run from this bus and they know that I've outrun a bus before, but they haven't exactly noticed that there's technically no room for me on that sidewalk anymore. I'm also grateful for my husband because he's always running with me and he'll even pick me up and carry me when I can't run anymore. Together, we focus on the present moment because that's all we have, but we have to simultaneously prepare for a future that's largely unknown. For a long time, I've been developing this superpower where I will continue to crush life even when my world is coming down around me. And that's very important now that I'm living with a diagnosis that has a do not Google prognosis. It started when I was very young, because it's rare to be diagnosed with ulcerative colitis, which is an autoimmune disease in your digestive tract at such a young age. I have early memories of being angry and upset at everyone around me who could just eat whatever food they wanted and not get sick. And I felt it was really unfair that they didn't even know how lucky they were. That's when my mom gently reminded me that this whole eating food thing is a really normal human thing to do. And if I was gonna get mad at everyone for just doing what was normal, it was just gonna hurt me more. In other words, I would have to be the one to adapt if I was gonna make the most of this life that I have been given. I didn't know it at the time, but that was the beginning of a special kind of resilience. I got really good at accepting and moving forward, no matter what health challenges were thrown my way. And that includes four years ago, the first time I originally heard those four words, I'm sorry, it's cancer. Awareness that our health can change at any moment is something that's given me a completely unique perspective on life. I'm really proud of it, and I actually consider it a huge advantage in life. I'm starting to wonder if anyone here is starting to feel a little jealous. <laughs> because through all the surgeries, the chemo, the radiation, the scans, the list, is, it's too long to list. I've managed to accept and move forward and maintain a positive mindset and hold on to hope. And although false hope is what everyone has heard of, it's false despair that I struggle with at times. For example, the first time I met my new palliative care doctor and she handed me false despair in the form of a hospice pamphlet. That was a really good day. Fear, anxiety, depression, grief, they're present every single day. I am having to evolve my superpower to learn to live with these emotions. Not exactly in harmony, but I'm getting there. Stories of women who've defied the odds are everything to me because some have been outrunning their bus a lot longer than doctors ever said they could. And some buses even just disappear without explanation. And although luck plays a bigger part in this than any of us would like to admit, 
I believe miracles can happen, and I'm hopeful that I'll be one. In fact, I already am. What? My kids are watching me, and my actions will one day become their playbook when something really hard happens to them. I want them to remember that this life is really good, even when it feels impossibly hard, and it's always worth fighting for. I want them to be resilient and optimistic and know that it's okay to be vulnerable, so I'll show them that. I never want them to give up on their goals and dreams, so here I am up on this stage right now, not giving up on mine. And above all else, I just want them to listen to their mother. <laughs> because when they're having the worst year of their life, I know they can make it the best year of their life, just like me. <laughs>